Mazda 6 used to kind of be the poor cousin among its competitors from Toyota, Honda, and Nissan. Not anymore. Here's the brand new 6. Got a lot more gravitas, that's for sure. Let's see if it's got a lot more tech. Let's go. Now our Mazda 6 is a Mazda 6 i-Series Grand Touring, which is nicely loaded. This head unit is upgraded. Navigation's not standard. As you can see, it's a 7-inch screen, good size display. It's a touch screen as well. Unfortunately, it's ugly as sin. Just grindy and crunchy and Fisher Price, not a winner. But functionally, it's a pretty good system. Entering destinations and such is very easy. There's pretty quick response here. It doesn't make you wait a long time. You do have voice command on this guy. You got a button there and you got a button here. Unfortunately, it's not real intuitive, so I've got to pull out my little book here of commands that it really wants to hear. I don't like that. Map. Current position. Zoom in. Zooming in. Gas station. System is showing the gas station icons. Casino. System is showing the casino icons. All right, so once you deal with the commands in the book, the response is good. I had no problem getting it to understand what I'm saying, as long as it's on the list. Now, if you don't get this car loaded up, you're going to be in the dirt in terms of entertainment system. It'll be a single slot CD, six speakers, AM, FM. Oh, yeah, an aux jack. Boring, but we have the cool system. Bose Centerpoint audio, surround sound rig, 10 speakers, including a powered sub, and some nice choices on source, as we can see right here. AM, FM, no HD radio, six disc in dash changer. Now, when my disc is in, I'm not getting any readout. There's no Grace Note database or anything here. That's kind of disappointing. This is not a hard drive based system. That's part of the reason we don't have a lookup table there. But moving on on the sources, I was delighted by this Bluetooth audio. That is kind of cool. I paired my BlackBerry to it, and while I'm not getting any readout of what I'm playing, I'm definitely playing off my BlackBerry. Sounds good. That's the new Bluetooth streaming that cars are starting to adopt now. I'm concerned, though, because we don't have an iPod option on this car, not that I could find in the build sheet. Might be a dealer installed thing. Now, you know right away that they've redone the Mazda 6 the minute you sit in the car from this trippy kind of fake wood black ebony thing with this pattern in it to much nicer materials all around and generally more of a dare i say it acura look underway the first surprise crops up in my peripheral vision this gt trim level mazda 6 has blind spot monitoring standard it flashes a warning in the mirror when there's a car in your blind spot and it beeps if you flick your turn signal in that direction Bluetooth hands-free, rain-sensing wipers, and dual-zone climate control also standard at this trim level. These i-Series cars have a 2.5-liter Ford doing 175 horsepower and 167 foot-pounds. Good balanced numbers. It's a happy and pretty chunky four, but you never forget it's a four. And the phrase gutless never came to mind, though the phrase trying hard did on occasion. The standard tranny is a six-speed manual, and I'd say it's among the better ones we've driven. Very crisp, nice smooth effort between the gears, and those gears are easy to find. You can also option a five-speed automatic with shiftability. Okay, let's price our 09 Mazda 6 i-Series Grand Touring. About $27.5 with delivery, and that includes nice touches like that blind spot monitoring system, but not all the tech toys I showed you. You got a pony up $2,000 for the navigation system. Another $17.50 gets you an odd package that combines Bose audio with the moonroof. Another $900 for the automatic. That, by the way, would be a five speed. 